اکنامک سسٹم آئی جی سی ایس ای اکنامک زیرو فور ڈبل فائیو کریزی آئی جی سی ایس ای ویلکم بیک ٹو کریزی آئی جی سی ایس ای ہیلو ایوری ون اف یو آر نیو ٹو مائی چینل ہائی دس از کریزی آئی جی سی ایس ای ویئر یو کین اسٹڈی سیون آئی جی سی سی سبجیکٹس وچ انکلوڈ بزنس اکنامکس اکاؤنٹنگ بایولوجی فزکس میتھس انگلش ٹپس اینڈ سالو پارٹس پیپرس سو ہیئر از آئی جی سی ایس ای ایٹ یور فنگر ٹپس please do subscribe so first is a market economic system which is also known as the free economic system so here the decisions are made by private individuals and there will be no government intervention so there are virtually no economies in the world who follow this economic system there is a government control everywhere though usa does come close to this economic system An example of a market economic system is China. Now let's look at the features of it. All resources are owned and allocated by private individuals. No government control exists. Profit is the main motive as they are private individuals and they aim at profit. And then the demand and supply fixes the price of the products, which is also known as the price mechanism. Now there are three questions, economic questions, which are asked. so first is what to produce second how to produce and third for whom to produce so what to produce is solved by producing the most demanded goods for which people spend a lot as their only motive is to generate a high profit how to produce is solved by using the cheapest yet efficient combination of resources which is either capital or labor and that that will help in increasing the profits and um causing profit maximization there is for whom to produce this is solved by producing to people who are willing and able to pay for their goods at a high price an advantage is there will be a wide variety of quality goods and services which will be produced as different firms will compete to maintain the competitiveness and satisfy the consumer wants and make a profit the quality will be ensured to make sure that the consumers will buy from them and they don't lose their customers their potential customers to their competitors and there will be consumer sovereignty second is firms will respond quickly to consumer changes in demand so when there is a change in demand they will quickly allocate resources to satisfying that demand so as to maintaining profits third is high efficiency so producers will want to maximize their profits and they will want to maintain their competitiveness in the economy and they will use resources very efficiently to maintain efficiency and produce more with less resources fourth is there will be no government control so there will be no taxes on goods and services and the income so in consumers will have more income to consume and the producers can cheaply produce the disadvantages include only profitable goods and services are produced so public goods and merit goods which are beneficial for the society there will be no demand and it will not be produced which is a drawback and which will affect the economic development of the country second is firms will only produce for consumers who can pay for them poor people who cannot spend much will not be produced for as they will not be uh, they will be non profitable third is only profitable resources will be employed some resources will be left unused in a market economy or a capital intensive production is favored over labor intensive production because it is more cost efficient and this will lead to unemployment because more machinery will be used so labor will not be required that will cause structural unemployment fourth is harmful or demerit goods may be produced so if it is profitable to do so fifth negative impacts on society like externalities may be ignored by the producers as they are focusing on the profit and not on the society benefits as their sole motive is to keep the consumer satisfied and generate a high profit sixth 
A firm that are able to dominate or control the market supply of a product is known as a monopoly. They will use their power to prevent supply from other producers and charge consumers a high price since they are the only producer in the economy for their product and consumers will have no choice but to buy from them. Seventh, due to high competition between firms, duplication of products may take place which will cause wastage of resources. A centrally planned economic system is when the decisions are made by the government only. They decide what to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce, that is the allocation of resources. An example is North Korea. The features of this economic system is that all resources are owned and allocated by the government. They are the ones who fix the prices too. Profit is not the main motive. Social welfare is. They will look at the benefits for the society. They produce goods which is most beneficial to the social welfare like merit goods. Efficiency will not be the priority as profit will not be the motive. They could use inefficient production methods to produce the goods and services. Goods will be produced for all people, mainly those with poor incomes. Rich people may demand for luxury goods, which the government may not be interested in producing. Advantages is that the, as it's a welfare motive economy, it will produce necessities like food, water, clothes, shelter, public goods and merit goods. The negative externalities will be controlled and it will be reduced. The prices will be kept low so that everyone can afford the goods and services. There will be low unemployment uh, because the government will aim at full employment as its part of the macroeconomic objective. Since there is no competition, duplication of product is eliminated. This advantage is that this consumer sovereignty is low as the government decides what to produce. So consumers cannot decide what needs to be produced like what products can be demanded, the government will make its final decision. Then there will be a lack of profit motive, which will lead to inefficient firms. A mixed economic system is when both the market and the planned economy coexist. Now, an example is India, UK, Brazil, etc. And almost all countries follow this economic system. This is because it overrides all the disadvantages of both the market and the planned economies. Now, a mixed economic system is when there will be in, uh, government intervention and there will be a price mechanism based on the private individuals. Features include both the public and private sector exists. Planning and final decisions are made by the government while the market system can be determined allocation of resources along with the public organizations. Advantages include that the government can provide public good necessities and merit goods. The private businesses can provide most demanded goods like luxury goods or superior goods. Thus, everyone is provided for. The government will keep externalities, monopolies, harmful goods, demerit goods in control. The government will provide jobs in the public sector. Then there will be better job security and motivation. The government will also provide financial help to collapsing private organizations so that the jobs are kept. This advantage is that the government tax will be imposed, which will raise prices and also it will reduce the work incentive. Government laws and regulations can increase the production costs it will also minimize the production. Produ public sector organizations will still be inefficient and will produce low quality goods and services. Which economic system is the best? So a free and a competitive market economy is the ideal type of market economy because what is supplied is exactly what consumers demand. Market economy facilitates substantial growth, arguably, Growth is the highest under a market economic system. A market economy's greatest downside is that it allows private entities to amass a lot of economic power, particularly those who own resources of great value. Three economic basic questions are what gets produced, how it's produced, who gets what it's produced. So it's from the resources to the producers 
to the households and there will be an allocation of resources and distribution of output from producers to the households every society has some system or mechanism that transforms that society's scarce resources into useful goods and services which is basically utilizing the resources to make it a more productive economy and for reaching its productive capacity also mixed economic system is a very good economic system because it gives equal chance for private individuals and for the government so government will try and reduce the demand it gets and the private individuals will help increase the profit motive which will increase efficiency in the economy thank you for watching crazy agcse please do subscribe and like the video